It's, it's a very important point. I, I think some, not everybody across the country is feeling this without question. There's still a million more people out of work than were in work prior to the crisis. But even those in what, work. But it, you're right. But what is happening, I don't think we should downplay it. What is happening is 60,000 jobs per month, new jobs are being created, most of those in the private sector, most of those full-time. Those, that's real work, real people. So let's acknowledge that. The second thing is you're absolutely right. Real wages are not picking up. They haven't been for a number of years. When will uh, they? And the expectation, and what's, what's required for them to pick up, I think is the way I would, I would phrase it. They'll want to know and, when. And, and, and what's required is that business starts to have as much confidence in the recovery uh, that's necessary for them to uh, start investing, and that's going to help boost real wages. So in the second half of our forecast, uh, be, you know, middle of 2014 through to the end of 2016, embedded in that forecast that we just released today is that you start to see real wage gains. In order to get that, though, we need businesses to have the confidence that this recovery is going to be durable, which is why we're doing what we're doing with the banks and what we're doing with monetary policy.